Okay, it's uh, good to be able to talk about this because I think I mentioned a few times in my, my first presentation that yeah, I love to flip and pitch. And I like to catch fish always, and, and I think it's real important to, to not try to force feed fish your way, but we all got things we like more than others. I love to catch fish on top order baits. Who doesn't? It's exciting. But when you make your living fishing, you need to try to be versatile enough and, and, and uh, fish enough different ways to, to be competitive. And even when you don't make your living fishing, if you, want to, if you are competitive, have a competitive nature and want to do well in your club or your region or your district, whatever it might be, then you need to be versatile. And, and you probably realize in my first seminar, I talked about moving, stay moving, cover water. And then when most people think about flipping and pitching, they don't think about covering water. But I do cover a lot of water when I'm practicing. And, and the thing that, that helps me, uh, can't make long casts like you can with a crankbait and cover 50 yards. But when I'm flipping or pitching, I am presenting my bait to a specific spot and if I don't get a strike, I can, I'm, just, I'm just real accurate to very specific targets, and I can cover a lot of good targets in a short amount of time. And the great thing about pitching is it's time efficient also, but you're always ready for the strike. You're always in a good hook setting position if you do it right, and you're always in a good position to land a fish and that sort of thing. And we pitched a bait out, whether it's 20 feet, Y'all thought I was hung, didn't you? Or if it's 30 or 40 feet, or if it's six or eight feet, okay? And we're ready. That's why you see most guys pitch more than they do flip, okay? The thing when I refer to shallow flipping, I'm basically talking about shoreline flipping. And the cool thing with doing that, you can, I can be going down parallel with the bank. If I'm fishing a blowdown, I wanna go straight in per perpendicular to the bank because I'm fishing that tree straight out the way it's laying so many times. You can control your presentation and probably as much as anything, present the bait exactly where you want it and have your best chance to retrieve that fish, okay? If a, if a tree is laying with its limbs laid towards you in a trunk away and you're fishing that direction, you're gonna land more of those fish than you are if you're fishing against the way those limbs are laying. Everybody agree? I hope you enjoyed the preview clip, and for more like that and the entire collection, subscribe to the Bash University TV. And if you want the tackle that you see on there, I want you to go to the Bash University Tackle Shop, powered by Tackle Warehouse, and click right here, and it's all at your fingertips. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their touted special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.